My name's Jim Smith. I joined the fire brigade in 1962, served for 31 years in the city of Glasgow. You don't forget the incidents you attend. Uh, you have a memory of them because they're all different. And I think I did a count once, uh, something like got to 52 uh, fatalities that I was present at or was involved in trying to secure uh, safely. Uh, there was many incidents in the city, unfortunate incidents. I uh, attended the James Watt Street fire where 22 people were killed. A very difficult fire, and a very difficult fire for the fire brigade to deal with. By the very nature of the work of the fire brigade, I attended three fires where our colleagues were killed and two of my gaffers, as we call them, were killed at separate fires in the city at that time. So the death toll for the fire brigade throughout the country was uh, not very good at all. Uh, just by the very nature of the, the work and the risks that were uh, confronting them. One of the things that's difficult for people to understand is although we have breathing apparatus and we have various other features, you're walking blind into such situations where you just can't see. Uh, and it's very difficult. It's also very dangerous because uh, because you can't see, you've got to adapt a method of search. Changes wise, I think the biggest was actually uh, was the fact that we didn't have women in the fire brigade uh, as operational firefighters. And that was understandable at the time. Obviously the world has changed radically since then. Better equipment, uh, safer working practices, uh, no reason why not. They've got the strengths and the capabilities to do the same.